Now we are here in the United States. We've been here for a little bit and we are getting ready to head to a new area in the U.S. What is up everybody? It's been a little while since we filmed the video. Now we are here in the United States. We've been here for a little bit and we are getting ready to head to a new area in the US. And today we are making a video about our travel journey. And it is actually our first time traveling in the US by train. So today we are riding the Amtrak. We have an overnight trip from Boston area to Cleveland. We got on after Boston in my home state of Massachusetts and we're headed to Cleveland area. getting in at 3.30ish a.m. in the morning. So it's about 11 hours, and that's with some layovers in between. Like we had a layover somewhere in New York for about an hour, just waiting for more cars to hook up to pick up more passengers. But we are on our way through New York State. We're more than halfway through already, and we should be there soon, but it's getting late. It's about 10 o'clock now, and probably try to sleep for a bit. Welcome to the future. So, uh, it's been a month and a half or so since we've taken that trade journey. And I just wanted to hop on video to kind of put an end to the video because uh, when we were on the train, we fell asleep, it was late, didn't feel like filming, it was dark. And we kind of just ended it there abruptly. So, I'm gonna tell you about the trip a little bit and close it out there. Okay, so this train uh, was called Amtrak and it was a specific route called uh, Lakeshore Limited, basically from Boston to Chicago. It runs through the Northeast and then to Chicago and I think it just goes back. There are different routes that do uh, different directions, you know, going down to New York City and going up to Maine, I think, so uh, you can find different ones. But for this one, that was the specific route we paid about $75 a person for economy seats. And the main point of this video is to kind of show you about uh, the train and how you can travel by train in the US. Now Amtrak is pretty reliable, it's comfortable, it's smooth. Um, the whole time during our journey, it wasn't really rough at all. There was only one transfer where we had to get out 
and uh, well, we didn't even have to get out, but you could get out, stretch your legs while they add more carts to the actual whole train. Um, now the economy section that we took was uh, really nice. The seats leaned way back. You had a big foot rest for your legs. You had some outlets, some overhead space, and plenty of room. And there wasn't that many people in the car itself. It was quiet. Um, overall, it was definitely a comfortable uh, trip. But if you don't want to sit the economy because you have a long journey and you maybe prefer to lay down on an actual bed, they did have some rooms, I think, with some beds, which are much more pricey. So if you want to spend the cash on that, that is the option. But I just want to tell you that if you're going on a journey kind of like how we did for about 10 hours or so, economy seats are fine. You're going to have plenty of room. Also on this train is a cafe cart, and I think there is one on most carts. But the cafe really isn't that great. You can get some refreshments, some drinks, uh, there's some snacks. The snacks aren't that great. It's a little pricey because you're paying for convenience, so you're not going to get what you really want. Um, if you want some better food, I would wait until the train makes a stop at a station to pick up more people. If there's some time, you can get out to the station and get something from there. Uh, that's your best bet. So, um, or just prepare some food and bring it on the train. Also, it was kind of weird because I don't think anyone ever checked our ticket. Um, they just asked us for our name and they wrote it down. We gave them our names, they wrote it down, and that was it. And they never really checked my receipt or anything, so maybe you can get a free train ride. No, just kidding. Don't do that. Pay for it. Be truthful. Um, don't do anything illegal. If you are looking to travel in the Northeast or somewhere in the U.S. by train, uh, give it a shot. It's cool. It's different. Um, you see different areas, different neighborhoods. You go behind houses. and uh, It's interesting because you're not taking the highway where the scenery is the same the whole entire way. Things change on the train tracks. You know, maybe you go by a river, maybe you go by uh, a development or something. Uh, it's always interesting to see what the landscape looks like out the window. So give it a shot. So if you came here for the train video, that's going to be it. Uh, it's a thumbs up from us. And if you're wondering if you should take this train somewhere in the United States, we recommend it. All right, and if you're a regular subscriber here that you've been watching for a while, uh, we just want to tell you some things. Uh, we've been in the US now for about a month and a half. We've been working a lot, um, taking time with friends and family, and just enjoying uh, the holidays here. Now, we're not really quite sure to when we're going to be leaving. Um, we'd like to go do some sort of travel somewhere soon, whether it's in the country or outside. We're gonna kind of think about that soon, and maybe to uh, something be before the next holiday or before Christmas um, but we're really just working and saving up some more money so that we can travel again to some places <clears throat> but other than that um, nothing has really changed I put out a few videos here and there with what I had left and uh, I'm focusing on some Spanish so that way I can go back to South America Central America and speak more uh, with the local people as that's what I I would like to do but other than that, um, always thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. It's coffee time. It's actually a really nice day out. It's cold though. I don't know if you can see that, it's probably really bright. Yeah, it's really bright. Peace.